everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple and it is time for Saturday with Stacy YouTube number 201. Now this is the YouTube that takes place during National Scrapbooking Day and it is May 6th, 2017. Our event is going on in our store right now. We have probably 100 to 200 people in the store right now, if not more. And <laughs> <laughs> and they are doing free make and takes. We have the girls in from Sizzix and they're hosting a free make and take in the back. We've got Paulette from Hot Off the Press who's flown in and she's hosting a free make and take in the front. We have got door busters and specials and freebies and giveaways and we have them for you online as well. So if you're watching this May 6th or May 7th, 2017, well, happy day for you. You can go online and check out all the doorbuster deals. If you're watching it 2008, or no, I'm sorry, May 8th, 2017, nope, the doorbuster deals are all gone, but this YouTube yummy sale will still be going on. And yes, one of the doorbuster deals, actually two of them, are part of this YouTube yummy sale. So even if you miss perhaps some of the other goodies, at least if you're shopping May 8th through the end of the week, you know that this stuff is still going to be there for you. We've got a wonderful YouTube for you today. It is featuring product from Couture Creations. It is, I am glad, let me just say, I'm glad I waited. I'm glad that I didn't I, I'm glad I waited. I'll explain that to you in a little bit. I'm, I'm glad that I stayed. I, I had a gut feeling it was not right for us. I'm glad I didn't do it. I'm glad and I'm glad I waited for this product because this is the right product for us. And hopefully it's the right product for you too. Now last week was YouTube number 200 and we celebrated. Woohoo, kachu! And you had to decide what was the prize I was going to give away? I mean, I said I would do a $200 gift card. I could either do one $200 gift card, two $100 gift cards, four $50 gift cards, and so on. And I asked you to post what it is you would like to win, whether it was, I want it all, <laughs> one of my favorite phrases, <laughs> or spread the wealth. Well, I've got winner, winner, chicken dinner to announce, and I have to tell you, we made a mistake. Normally we choose two winners for every YouTube and we did that today. And how do we choose our winners? Well, we have a software that downloads all of your comments and then the software will randomly pick two winners. So we have it automatically set up to pick two winners and that's what it did. The problem was how were we going to decide which winner was going to win when we picked two? So. <laughs> <laughs> we have lots of winners because I couldn't pick one person over the other. It was our mistake with the software not to tell it just to pick one winner. So, so I've got lots of winners for you. Now, today is the, um, the Go Press Foil from Couture Creations. We have, I'm going to show you several ways to use this machine several ways. So please grab a piece of paper and a pencil. And if you do place an order for this product, put in the note comment of your order, YouTube number 201. That way you know when you get your product, what YouTube to go back and refresh with, because I think this stuff is pretty darn rock star. And like I said, I'm glad I waited. I will explain that to you. First, I'm going to announce winner, winner, chicken dinner. And there's a lot of you because if, if you chose, I want to do eight winners for $25 and we picked your name. Well, we picked eight winners. We picked you and seven other winners, but then we had that second winner that I didn't, we just couldn't, we had to be, we had to do the right thing. <laughs> we did. So if that winner picked, I want to give away four gift certificates for $50. Well, they got a $50 gift certificate and so did three other people. So it's a win, win, winner <laughs> chicken dinner here at Scrapbooking Made Simple from YouTube number 200. Are you ready to hear if you're one of the lucky winners? Okay, our first winner, our first set of winners, there's eight of you and you've each won a $25 gift card to Scrapbooking Made Simple. So if you have an online account, we'll apply it to your online account. If you're an in-store peep, 
we'll swipe you a card for $25. And the person who made this all possible was Brenda Flickinger Klein. Hello, Brenda Klein, how are you doing? <laughs> Congratulations, your name was picked and you chose to give this prize to seven other people along with yourself. So the seven other people who have won $25 is Nina Adams, Diane Karatotis, K-A-R-I-O-T-I-S, Darla Capper, Roseanne Brooks, Mary O'Neill, Diana Gomez Wilk and Vera Feldman. Feldman. So if you are Brenda Flickinger Klein, you're the main reason all of these other people are getting their prize. Nina Adams, Diane Cariotis, Cariotis, Diane Cariotis, Carla, oh no, Darla, I'm sorry, Darla uh, Capper, Roseanne Brooks. Mary O'Neill, Diana Gomez Wilk, and Vera Feldman. So congratulations all of you, you've won $25 to spend any way you see fit on anything that makes your heart happy. Now we pick the second winner and how do you choose which is which? This person chose to give four people a $50 gift card. So she has won a $50 gift card and then three other people as well. And the, but the person that was picked was Debbie Gaffney. Debbie Gaffney, you've won $50 to Scrapbooking Made Simple, but you chose to share the wealth and I have three other winners. Deb Cook, Debbie Fortin, and Kim Hoover. So Debbie Gaffney, Deb Cook, three Debbies, wow. Okay, so we have, well, two Debbies and a Deb. Debbie Gaffney, Deb Cook, Debbie Fortin, and Kim Hoover. You have all won $50 gift cards to Scrapbooking Made Simple. Congratulations. How do you claim your prize? You go to scrapbookingmadesimple.com, look for our winner winner chicken dinner link, click it, follow the directions, and send us an email. If you are an online peep, you must have an online account for us to apply the credit. So if you've never shopped with us before and you just want a gift card, Go to scrapbookingmadesimple.com, make an account, and then send us an email, and we will apply your credit to you. If you're an in-store person, come on in and we'll swipe you a gift card and congratulations. So from me to you, from all of us at Scrapbooking Made Simple, for 200 YouTubes, wahoo ka -choo. Okay, now I'm going to get started for today because I am really excited to bring this product to you. Again, I hope you have a piece of paper and a pencil because I'm going to take you through the basics. I'm going to take you through not necessarily what the the machine is, the tool is used for. I mean, it, it is used for some of these things, but the main focus of it, I'm going to show you a little bit later. We're going to start off very simple, very easy and we're gonna get progressively a little more difficult. So I'm gonna tilt on down. We're gonna get started for today. Happy National Scrapbooking Day 2017, everybody. If you are in Southern California, come spend the day with us. I have got a spread of food. We have got goodies and freebies and all sorts of wonderfulness for all of you, including those of you online. Please be respectful and read the terms and conditions of this sale and have a great time. I hope you enjoy this YouTube. I'm very excited to bring it to you. Okay, down we go. Okay, and I'm going to go in just a little bit. All right, so this is a foil stamp die. And you may have seen this on HSN and they had it on for about six minutes and then they sold out and I think it was all done and over with. But this is a foil stamp die. What is a foil stamp die? Well, let me show you. It is a piece of metal that's been molded. Is it a die cut? No, it's not a die cut. You can't you can't cut this rose out as beautiful as it is. It does not cut out anything. What it does 
it transfers and it, and it transfers a lot of different things. I can't wait to show you. It transfers foil because that's where the go press foil machine starts with. And it is, let me turn the machine over for you really quickly. This is the, the machine, the tool. And I told you I was glad I waited and I am because when the foils became the rage, and, and everybody loved how fabulous the foils look because they really do look pretty amazing. That's pretty rock star, isn't it? That best wishes is all foiled. You used a laminator and I just was not so big on the laminating idea because it seemed that it was limited in its, its ab availability to do many different techniques. But then this machine came out and it is by Couture Creations and I do know them very, very well. Andrew and Kevin have been amazing to us. Yes, this has been on, Anna, on, on HSN and Anna Griffin showed it off. I want to show you even more and I want to show you plates that Anna Griffin did not have. Now, this is a it is a machine that or it is a tool that needs to be plugged in and this is for all intents and purposes a heat plate but i'm going to start by using it without it being heated up at all there's going to be no heat to this at all we're just going to use it as a platform it will work in your big shot your big kick your vagabond your big shot pro your big shot plus your fabby Big Shot, your Vintage Big Shot, your Cuddlebug machine. Almost every, if you happen to have a Kaiser Craft machine or a Tangerine machine from, uh, from Tonic Studios, almost every die cutting machine out there is going to let you use these together. And because it does so much more than foiling, it seemed to me to be well worth it. Now again, HSN had it and scrapbooking made simple certainly isn't HSN. I need to tilt up. I just can't talk to you. I just, it just is weird for me. So HSN had this and Anna Griffin did them and did a beautiful job with them, but we're not HSN. <laughs> so when it came time to talk to um, the powers that be about this machine, I said, well, we're not HSN and we're never going to be HSN. And, you know, when you look at their annual sales, we maybe do, I mean, we maybe do a half a percent of what HSN does in annual sales. God bless their pea pick and heart. We're not that. I would be surprised if we even did a half a percent of their annual sales. But that didn't mean that I didn't want to bring the very best to you and get you the best deal I possibly could. So we have a special bundle for you that is really um, amazing and we're going to get to that that way if you didn't get it from hsn you're not going to feel that you're paying more for it here at scrapbooking made simple because i got several things thrown in for free for you so that we could at least be competitive with hsn kind of in our very small little humble mom and pop not even a half a percent way, but you're our, you're my heart out there. You're my customers, you're my peeps, you're my friends. And I wanted to be able to look at you and say, I did the best deal I could. I negotiated as hard as I, as hard as I could. And hopefully you'll see the value in the machine. Okay, I'm gonna tilt on down and we're gonna continue. So this is a hot plate. This piece does click right into here. It does have an on and off switch. You do have to press it. The light will go green when it's ready. It does heat up. But to start with, I'm gonna start using it without the hot plate at all. I'm just gonna use it as a platform. And I am going to take my, uh, my stamp die, which is what they call it, although it doesn't die cut. And I'm gonna play with this first. Now, the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna ink it up ink it up yes I'm going to ink it up and I think I'm gonna start with let's just we'll do it really quick I'm gonna start with a bunch of red I've got my memento ink and 
and let's get some green on here for my leaves. Just ink it up. So that's where I'm at. I've just inked it up. And I'm gonna bring over my platform. Now my platform's not hot at all. It's got a non-slip rubber right here. I'm gonna lay this right down on top with that ink side facing me. I'm gonna grab a piece of white paper. This happens to be 100 pound cardstock. I'm gonna lay it in. Now, every machine is different. My machine takes, I need to put a shim on top. You may need a card base. I've just taken a piece of simply defined 100 pound paper, folded it in half, and put it right on top. Every machine's gonna be different. One machine might just need an envelope as a shim. Another machine might need what I've done. It just, and your machine might not need any shim whatsoever, but you're playing with white paper, so it's okay. Figure out the shim you need, and I wrote on there, shim for big shot, so I know which shim I need to use. I'm gonna bring my big shot machine over. All I have to do is roll this through. That's all I'm going to do. I'm gonna slowly roll it through. I'm gonna go a little bit slower than I normally would, and then I'm going to bring it back. So, the machine is called a Go Press Foil, but we're not using any foil at all. We're taking their foil stamp dies and using them as an actual stamp. How pretty is that? Wahoo Kachu. I didn't use any foil at all. I used my Memento inks and their platform through my Big Shot machine. This is why I said I am so glad I waited and didn't really get into the laminator thing because because the laminator, as good as it is, as lovely as it is, it really only has a few, you know, one purpose mainly to foil. Now you've got you've got a tool that's going to let you foil. It's going to let you ink. I'm going to do this one more time. This time I'm going to and you know, I am on my um I am on my non-stick non-slip craft mat. See, my mat doesn't move. This is a simply defined product. This is my product and it's meant not to move. I, and so, yes, you could have I could have inked this right up on top. So uh, this time I'm going to start with a little bit of yellow. I'm going to add a little bit of my red and I'm just going to hit it. And then I'm going to take my green and I'm going to hit my green. Just ink it up really, really, really well. Take a wet wipe. Just wipe my table right off. Easy peasy. Lift up my, my stamp die. Bring over my platform. Now this is not a Sizzix product. This is a Couture Creation product. Even though I'm putting it through a Big Shot or Big Kick machine, put my stamp die with my ink facing me, put down my paper, put my shim right over the top, bring my Big Shot machine right back over and send it on through. A little slower than we normally would with die cutting. You want to make sure you get it. And it goes like butter. It almost feels like it's not doing anything at all. But it is. And like I said, that shim, your machine may not need it. Your machine may need just an envelope. You might need a piece of folded copy paper. Everybody's machine is a little different. Oh, now what do we think? <laughs> Are we loving it? 
And again, we haven't, we haven't really used it for its main intent, which is foiling. We've stamped. All we've done is stamp with this. Easy peasy to clean up. You're just going to take your baby wipe and clean it right on up. But I want to do more with it. So I'm going to put those aside. And this time, you need to have your squishy. This is your silicone uh, impression pad from Sizzix. And usually we use a squishy and a knock knock together. This time, all you're going to need to use is your squishy. I'm going to take my, hopefully I got it clean enough. I'm going to say that's pretty good. I'm going to take my foil stamp die. Although it's not really a die, you can't die cut with it. I'm going to put my paper right down on top. I have not inked this time. I'm going to take my squishy and put it right on top. And this time I'm not going to need to use my shim because I've got that squishy and I'm going to close it right on up. I'm going to bring my machine right back over and I'm going to send it on through. Now, I always say the squishy needs to come out the back end and you will see your, squish, your squishy start to grow. Not as much as if you were going through a big shot machine with a, an impression pad if you were embossing a die die, but you will see your squishy start to grow. And then I'm going to send it back. Open it up, remove my squishy, and now I have a beautiful embossing, a letterpress, deep letterpress. Gorgeous, isn't it? Got a little bit of ink there, but that's okay. Beautiful. So now I have inked my, my foil stamp and used it as a stamp and now I've embossed with it and used it as an embossing but what if I were to ink my foil stamp and I love my little dew drops my dew drops are great they're a memento ink we do carry the full size of these the full size ink pads but the little dew drops are darling because there's lots of colors and maybe you don't want a full size Bahama blue maybe you don't want a, a seven dollar ink pad maybe you want a two dollar and fifty cent ink pad because you want to have the color but um, but you don't need the full size. Buying the little dewdrops in the colors that you don't necessarily go to every day is a really good investment because it allows you to have lots of colors for a very little price and they're easily storable. Okay, so I'm gonna bring over my Go Press Foil platform again. I'm going to lay it down. I'm gonna grab a piece of paper I'm going to lay that down. I'm going to put my squishy on top, lay that down, and I'm going to send it on through. And slow and steady wins the race. It's very easy to get through. It's not hard to crank at all. It almost feels like you're not doing too much. Open it up. And now I've inked my embossing. 
Should have added a little more blue. Should have added a little more blue. I'm not crazy about that one. I'm going to do it one more time. Because <laughs> I have to be happy with it. Clean it just a little quick. So you can stamp with it. You can letter press with it. You can ink. Ink with it and letter press. My green. Let's see if this one comes out any better. Take my wet wipe. Wipe my ink right off. Put my die with my ink side facing me. Put my paper side down. Now that's the one we started with, but you're never gonna see this because you'll be taping that down onto your card or your layout. Put it right over the top. Take my squishy. Put it right over the top. Close my platform. And let's see if I did any better on this one. Roll it through kind of slow. And again, it's not hard to roll. It doesn't take a lot of effort. And back. And if you've got a cuddle bug, a Big Shot, a Big Kick, a Vagabond, a Big Shot Pro, a Big Shot Plus, a Vintage Machine, a Fabby Machine, just about, uh, 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 just about any machine out there. Oh, that's a little prettier. Oh, okay, I'm happier. <laughs> and I have, you can see, let me see if I can pull this one. You can see the debossed image there. And there it is, letter pressed and inked. And we haven't even started to heat it up yet. These are just lovely. And they make all different types of their foil stamp dies. All different types. I've got them all. I know on HSN they only had the Anna Griffin for you. So if you did buy this machine on HSN, I've got the rest of the hot foil or the, the foil stamp dies for you. You're not limited to just the, the Anna Griffin designs. I've got the rest of them, and I want to say there's at least 35 more on top of that. But now we're going to move on, and this is where we are going to heat it up. So I'm going to bring this back over, and this is the heating element, and it is plugged in, and it does have a blinking light, and that tells you that it's on. This little heating element just clicks right in. Done. It just clicks right in. And my little light is going to be flashing red. Now when this is all nice and hot and ready to go, my light will change. And yes, you can feel it he heating up. <laughs> you can absolutely feel it heating up um, through, the, through the plastic. Is it gonna heat up so hot that it's going to burn you? No, would I certainly lay my hands over here? Well, I suppose if I'm cold, I would. <laughs> but um, it's not hot enough to the touch where it's going to burn you. And I'm going to bring over, have a lovely birthday. This is one of the free, free, free foil stamps that you're going to receive with the machine if you get it through Scrapbooking Made Simple. We actually were able to negotiate to get you four stamp foil plates to go with the machine. So when the machine, what you get with the machine is the heating element and the platform. You get two rolls of their foil. Now they make the foil in many different colors and I want to talk to you about that really quick. Let's talk about the foil while we're heating up here. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to lay my hot foil stamp face up right there while it's heating up. Let's talk about the foil a little bit. First off, you get a little over 15 feet per roll. 
So there's quite a bit. It is a roll, it's not in sheets, and it's over 15 feet, which is the most foil I've ever seen on a roll. Second, it's $2.80 a roll, which is a phenomenal price. And then of course we've got it on a YouTube Yummy. And the colors are, the colors are amazing. There's, there's a host of colors and they're just absolutely, they're gorgeous. You can't go wrong with the colors. But this is not the same foil as what you may be using already. We do carry deco foil and you can use the deco foil in a laminator. Can you use the deco foil in this machine? No, I'm so sorry. It does require their foil. But when you're talking about $2.80 a roll versus the $5.99, $4.99 for the deco foil and the amount you get, I think you're gonna be okay having the separate foil. I, I know that there's a foil that goes with a Minx machine and I'm not familiar with the Minx machine. All I know is that foil also will not work here. Can you use the Couture Creations and Ultimate Craft foil in those other machines or the laminators? Yes, yes you can. You can't use their foil with this. It's a different process. A laminator is a different process than what we're working with. Now you can see I keep putting my hand on top of there because I want you to know it is absolutely heating up. It's getting warm. Oh, and it just turned green. So my light just turned green and yet I'm still able to put my hand on there. Am I going to say, oh, that's a little warm? Yes. Am I going to, am I going to burn myself? No. And that's an important thing that you should know. Should kids use this all by themselves? Well, I would think if they're 12, 13 years old, absolutely. If they're four or five, mom, dad, grandma, nanny, nanny, <laughs> bubby, whoever is crafting with them, you wanna be there because maybe for a four or five year old that might be a little warm, but they know not to touch. So it is all heat, heated up, my light is green. And now I'm going to take a piece of my foil and I'm going to cut it. And you want to cut it pretty close to the size that you're using, that your, your stamp is, your die stamp is. You also want to cut off some of the corners. So you want to take those four corners off. Now, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to put my foil with the pretty side. This one, well, we're going to see what's going to happen. I'm going to put it with my pretty side down. Okay, what if I change my mind? What if I don't want to do silver? It's not a problem. Just pick it right back up. It hasn't done anything yet. If it moves, if it slides, nothing has happened yet. Until you roll it through the machine, nothing has happened yet. So if you all of a sudden say, oh, I didn't mean to get silver, I meant to get gold or fuchsia or purple, not a problem. You just pick it right back up. Then you're gonna grab your piece of paper. And remember, it's pretty side down, the shiny side down. I'm gonna grab a piece of paper and I'm gonna put that right over the top. And again, if it moves, it's still not a problem. I don't want you to worry thinking that if you move something before it, before you're ready, before you send it through the machine that you've committed. You've committed to nothing now except for, I think this is the combination of stamp and, or uh, the stamp, foil, stamp, dye, and, and the color foil that I wanna use. Then I'm gonna take my shim and I'm gonna cover it. And I'm gonna let it sit there for just a few minutes. Well, not even a few minutes. I'm gonna let it heat up just a hair a bit. Even though my light is green, I'm gonna let it sit in there for just a second or two, just so the, the plate gets the heat conducted all the way through it so that it's hitting that foil and it's getting ready to transfer. It hasn't transferred yet. It won't transfer until I send it through my Big Shot machine. So let's give it a whirl and see if I've let it heat up enough. I just pull it right out, bring over my Big Shot machine, and again, kind of slow, 
Not as fast as we normally would because we're making a transfer, kind of slow, and then bring it on back. And let's see, I hope I went all the way. Let's go one more time because I'm not sure I went all the way. Oh yeah, I did, okay. Now while I'm doing this, my, my base is still on. So, and it will stay on for 25 minutes approximately. If you don't do anything, this is going to turn off all by itself. So if you happen to walk away and you get involved in a conversation with your best friend, <laughs> she just had the best news or she just bought the best pair of shoes and you get involved in that conversation, don't worry. This is going to shut down all by itself. Pull my shim up. Can you see? And now, I've made my transfer and it says, have a lovely birthday. And this is one of the four foil stamp dies that you're going to get with the bundle of this machine to help us be competitive with HSN who is awesome, but so much bigger than we are. <laughs> now I'm just going to slip this right back in there and let it reheat. You can see that it's on there beautifully. Most of the die or the, the stamps that we have, we do have all the Anna Griffin, but we also have a lot of sentiments, an amazing amount of sentiments. So under the Ultimate Craft brand, you've got Happy Anniversary um, with Deepest Sympathy, You're Invited, uh, Have a Happy or a Lovely Birthday. The other set that you're going to get, you're going to get one that says Sweetheart. You're going to get one that says Best Mom. And you're going to get one that says you're beautiful inside and out. Now these retail for approximately $7 each. So some of them a little bit more, some of them a little bit less. So that's all coming with what you're going to get. That's an added value that thankfully we were able to negotiate in. So I'm going to run it one more time. I'm going to use a different piece of foil and absolutely yes, I would not throw this away because yes, you can use this for something else without question. If you have Stacy tape, get 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 creative because yes, you can transfer the foil and then glitter, but that's for another day. Let me grab another color foil. This blue is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna cut it right off. I'm gonna cut the corners down just so it's not such a straight edge. I'm going to put the pretty side down against my plate. Pretty side down. And then put my paper right on top. But then I say, oh no, 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 it moved. Okay, not a problem. Easy peasy. You're good. Until you roll it through that machine, you are fine. Throw your shim in there should you need one. Close it up. Let it heat for just a minute or not even a minute or two. It needs about 30 seconds just for that plate to heat through and the heat to conduct all the way through. Now included in the um, in the bundle is also their tweezers. And what's really cool about their tweezers is that they're magnetic. So if you're not wanting to touch, if you want to take that hot piece of metal off, you want to do a new one, the tweezers will pick it up right for you. You don't have to touch it at all. That's pretty rock star. And it's included in your bundle. They're not anything extra. It's included. All right, let's give it a roll. I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to bring my machine right on over. 
I'm going to send it on through. I don't need to have any additional cutting plates from Sizzix. I don't need to have any additional platforms from Sizzix. I'm just rolling it right on through with the Couture Creation platform that is your GoPress foil. Nothing extra needed. If you've got a big, a big shot machine or a, a die cutting machine, this is, this is a great tool to have because it's going to add so much to your to your, your arsenal. You're going to be able to do so much with it. Take my shim out. You can see that it's there. Peel up. And there it is. It's lovely, isn't it? And remember, if you don't want to touch this, you just kind of scooch it off to the side and it picks it up for you. It is warm. I'm not going to, you know, not tell you it isn't. That's kind of hot. So you just kind of scooch to the side and pick it right on up. And then you can lay it right down on your heat resistant, non slip, non skid craft mat by Simply Refined, which is me. <laughs> Because it's not going to burn it, it's not going to cause a problem whatsoever. So very pretty, very easy to do. So so far we've done we've done a stamp. We've stamped with with there, and absolutely you could you could you could ink these up and stamp. We've stamped with them. We did a letter press with it, and then we stamped and did a letter press. So we've done the letter press with stamped image. We've done just a letter press and we've done just stamped images. And now we have actually used the foil. So a laminator is what you would use to do the foil. That's what's always been out on the market. But can you see how much more you get with this? How much more you can do? But I'm not done yet. I'm not nearly done. I have something else to show you that is just absolutely amazing. I am going to put this back in and I'm going to let it heat for a minute. I'm going to scoot it on over and I'm going to bring over one of the other doorbuster deals that we will have throughout the entire YouTube Yummy. This is a doorbuster deal from Tonic Studios and they have put together an amazing set of dies for you and the dies are all interchangeable so inside inside you're going to get 12 different dies 12 different dies and all of these dies are completely and totally interchangeable but what's even more remarkable about them is that they are buildable. They are meant to stack. And yes, these are meant to die cut. These are Tonic Studios um, collections and it's part of their invite insert sets. And they are meant to stack together. And I will show you some samples on how to stack them together. So you're going to get 12 dies and one stamp set because can you see how this one's got a banner? We've got the stamps as well that are gonna let you stamp right inside that banner. Now, the normal price on this item is $114.87, so almost $115. Your price during this YouTube Yummy sale is $29.99 for everything in the bag, all 12 dies and the stamp set. And I am gonna show you some samples with just die cutting with these, but I'm not gonna use them to die cut. I'm going to use them to foil. Any wafer die that you own, any wafer die, and a wafer die is one of those dies that is skinny, thin, like a wafer. So, all of the dies in that set are more than a die. You actually get two dies with most of the sets and with one or two sets you get three dies or four dies. So every die has a decor die, 
and a frame. You can use this on its own, you can use this on its own, or you can use these two together. But I'm going to foil them. You're like, say what? Well, why not, right? Let's give it a whirl. I'm going to put that in my frame right there. I'm working with the Rose Garden is the one I'm playing with today. And I'm going to bring over my machine or my plate. I'm going to lay my die face up so those ridges, those cutting ridges, what are normally cutting ridges, are facing me. Then I'm going to take a piece of my foil. And again, I'm just going to cut it kind of close to the same size as my, as my die, because this is just a die. Think about how many dies you already own. Heck, if you own Simply Defined or Simply Refined, think about all the different things you're going to be able to do, because we're not die cutting at all. We're now foiling with a standard wafer die. Okay, I know. Okay. I know that is that is rock star. Think about all the things you already have, all the dies you've been collecting over the years from memory box, from my favorite things, from Sizzix, from me, from and now you can foil with them. Oh my gosh, I know. I was like, Psh, it was like, oh so anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tilt back down again. Sorry. Okay, so there we go. So I've got it on my plate. I've got my pretty side facing down. I have got a piece of my paper over the top. Hopefully my paper's long enough. Feels long enough. And now I'm going to use my shim over the top. And I'm going to let that get hot for just a second. It's turning red, it's blinking red. When it's ready to go, it will go green. You know, if you give it 15, 20 seconds, give it a few minutes, not a few minutes, I keep saying a few minutes, it's actually a few seconds, 30 seconds or so, it's going to be hot enough for you to send it through and it to foil. Now again, this is warm and I'm putting my hands on it and it's okay. The light is green and I'm still putting my hands on it. Is it, is it warm? Sure, but I'm chilly so I'm warming my hands up. I'm going to pull it on over. I'm going to bring over my machine and I'm just going to slowly roll it through. Almost feels like it's not doing anything at all. And then I'm going to slowly roll it on back. Can you see that the design is there? And now I'm going to peel it off. And my design has been left behind. Everywhere there was a ridge on my die, which is typically a cutting edge. Everywhere one of those ridges are, which usually cuts the paper out and it falls out, instead, it left the design in foil. <gasps> Amazing, right? But I'm not done yet. Wait, okay? So, um, so then I can take this, put my, my Go Press foil back in its little machine so it can keep heating up. I can bring over my Big Shot machine. I can grab my magnetic platform or your multi-purpose platform. Tab's completely closed. I have got a cut plate. I have got my foiled. But remember, I said they all come with frames. I can now die cut this foil piece out, making it an embellishment. Send it right on through. One roll. It is an open frame die. 
Some of you want to know what I mean by an open frame die. It means that there's nothing in the center. This would not be an open frame die. It's solid. Ooh, don't lose that, Stacy. I have now foiled and die cut out my piece, which you can then stamp on top of. You could take another, uh, a smaller foil and you could foil right on top of this if you wanted. You have options because now not only can you die cut with the dies you own or this amazing bundle from Tonic Studios, you can now take it and use it foiling. But I'm not done yet, okay? Just hang with me, I promise. So I'm gonna move this over to the side for right now. I'm gonna pull out my magnetic platform and my plates. I am going to keep this here. I'm gonna bring this back over. I'm gonna lay it back down. I'm gonna grab some gold this time just because I wanna be different. Cut a piece of gold. And you can see obviously how long 15 feet of this is going to last you. And $2.80 a roll for the foil? Holy smokes, artichokes, and then it's 20% off. So that's almost 60 cents off. I want to say it maybe 12, 13 colors. Cut off my corners. You can see you can see it's not sticking. It's not, the foil isn't transferring onto my plate. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to grab a piece of paper, lay that on there. There's the edge of my die, so right about there maybe. Grab my shim, lay that right on top, and let it heat for just a moment or two. That's better, just a moment or two, not a minute or two. Now while that's heating, if you have Stacy tape and you run a row of Stacy tape on your paper and then you put this down on top of your Stacy tape, this is the piece I used, and then you peel this back up, it's going to leave all of that foil except for where the design is that we have taken off. We used the foil to make this piece right here. So what that's going to do is that's going to leave Stacy tape exposed. Then you take some glitter, put it over the top, and that glitter is going to fill in all of those available spaces, putting the design back onto the paper. So you use the positive and the negative. Oh. Okay, so it's ready to go. I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to bring my Big Shot machine back over. I'm going to send it through. Slow. You're not running a race. You need to be a little bit slow with this because you're transferring, not die cutting, even though we are using these amazing tonic dies to do this. Even though tonic dies are meant to die cut, we are transferring the foil. Open it up. You can see that it's transferred. I'm just going to close this right on up. Just in case I want to use it again, I'm going to go ahead and let it sit in there and it can be heating while I'm showing you. I'm going to pull off. And there's my foiled image. Now, what can I do next to this? Well, Foil is non-porous. This is non-porous. You can't put ink on here and think that it's going to absorb in. So it acts as an instant resist. What do I mean by that? Well, you may think that if you take ink and go over the top of it, you would then ink over and cover all of that beautiful foil that you just did. Oh no, because foil resists the ink. So I can go in here 
and I can ink up my piece of white cardstock. You can use gelatos, you can use memento, you can use Tim Holtz, you can use um, what ink do you have? <laughs> you don't need to go out and buy anything special. And if you're using gelatos, well then you can blend. Okay, I tend to take a little bit of a baby wipe, kind of dry, and just go right over the top of it. Nothing came off, just so you know. And now I have inked. Oh, you can really see the foil now. Holy smokes, artichokes. But I'm not done. Because I have the die that's going to let me pull this piece out and look like a finished, a finished embellishment, a finished background. And because the tonic dies are meant to stack perfectly on an A2 card, you can take three of these and it will make a complete background on an A2 card. I have got my magnetic platform from Sizzix. This is a Sizzix product and is meant to go with your Big Shot. It is not sold with the Big Shot. So if you only have your multi-purpose platform that came with your Big Shot, no worries. Just keep it closed. The multi-purpose platform, don't open any tabs. I have got my cut plate down on the bottom. I have got my paper with my foiled image on it. I have got my frame die that goes around it. And the nice thing about a magnetic platform is that nothing moves. And I'm going to send it on through. One roll is plenty. Uh-huh. Amazing, right? So we have, <laughs> we have stamped, we have uh, letter pressed, we have inked and letter pressed, we have foiled, we have foiled using one of our dies, and then we have resisted and inked with the foil, all using a Big Shot machine or your die cutting machine and our GoPress foil. It is a remarkable tool. It is not the least expensive tool we've ever sold, that's for sure. It runs it runs $120 for the unit and it gives you everything you need. We charge $124.99 and that gives you the unit, the foils, the tweezers, and the four the four free plates so that when it arrives at your house, you are ready to go. You can start foiling and playing right away. How amazing is this? So if you have, see I was playing with it earlier. There's the silver. It's just lovely. There's another gold. So if you take them, you can stack them to make cards. I'm going to show you cards that Yvette made using the tonic dies as dies. And again, if you don't touch this for 25 minutes, it's going to shut itself off. It's going to be done. So if you leave it and you're worried, you don't have to. They've put a built-in fail safe in there. And if you have wafer dies, you get to play. If you don't have wafer dies, well, you're going to get four of the stamps, the foil stamps to go with it. And you can play and you can use it heat with the heat to do the foiling, or you can use this all by itself without the heat at all to do the stamping and the letter pressing. I recommend you start with just white paper until you figure out what shim is going to work best. I'm on a big shot machine. I've got a hundred pound paper, 
folded and that's what I'm using as my shim. It seems to have worked for the majority of our machines. This seems to be the best shim. So if you start with just plain white paper and run it through, figuring out what shim you need before you start getting into nicer papers or foiling on nicer papers. Just play. It's only paper and some ink and the foil really does go a very, very long way. And they really are just lovely. So if I don't want to touch this because it's hot, there we go. Put it right down on my, on my craft mat and let it cool. And then I could pull out my You Are Beautiful Inside and Out. Close that up, let that sit there for just a moment. That's one of the free ones that you're going to get when you buy the machine through Scrapbooking Made Simple. It did not come, if you got it through HSN, most of these, the, the all the sentiment plates that I'm showing you right now, they didn't come with it. And I don't even know if they told you you could run your wafer dies through it. I didn't watch it. So I don't know. And if they did, Wahoo could chew. And if they didn't, well, now you know. And if you don't watch HSN, well, now you really know. This might be the first time you're ever seeing this machine. It really is um, very new to the market. I'm going to cut my... Sometimes it's good to wait. Because I think what you can do with this machine far exceeds what you can do with a laminator. And remember, this foil is special. You can't take your deco foil or the minx foil and use it with this machine. It's not going to work. Can you use this with their machine? My understanding is yes. So I'm going to put that on there. Put that right on. Let's grab a piece of paper. Oh, don't want to use that one. Let's grab a piece of paper. Lay it right on top. Put my shim in. Close it up. Let it sit there for just a few moments. I can be throwing all of this away. Move my Big Shot machine over. I'm going to let that sit there for just a moment. Remember, don't throw away your negatives because there's no reason why you can't take Stacy tape. Put Stacy tape right down on a piece of white paper. Expose the sticky. Put this right down on top of the Stacy tape. Peel it off, and all of that is going to be left, all the foil is going to be left behind. But where the words are, that's still going to be exposed Stacy tape. Throw some glitter right on top of that. The glitter will fill in the words, tap it off, and you've got a whole nother, a whole nother embellishment, a whole nother stamp, a whole nother image. It's amazing. All right, I'm going to give this, I'm going to say that's long enough. Hopefully I'm right. <laughs> So far I've been right. <laughs> I'm gonna move that out of the way. Pull this right over and send it on through. And let's see what we get. So it's the Go Press and Foil Machine by Couture Creations, which is also Ultimate Crafts. So some of the things are going to say Couture Creations and some of them are going to say Ultimate Crafts. Don't worry, it's kind of like Simply Defined and Simply Refined. All right, move my machine over. I will tell you the biggest mistake that you will make is maybe not letting it heat up enough or rolling it through your machine too fast. If you roll it through your machine too fast, your result is not gonna be optimum. And if you don't let the plate heat up, like I did when I let it sit in there, then you're also not gonna get the best You're beautiful inside and out. Now you can take your die and you can die cut that out. Any die, you have a circle die, an oval die. Well, if you have must-haves, you've got a, an oval and a rectangle that would certainly cut this out and it's beautifully foiled and I didn't use a laminator at all. All right, I have got samples to show you, lots of them. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the bundle from Tonic Studios because these truly are dies. It just so happens that they work 
beautifully in the foil machine anyway for die. So we've got the 12 dies plus the stamp set, normal price $114.87. Your price for this YouTube Yummy is $29.99. Supplies are limited. <laughs> okay, let me show you the storyboards that we've done. So remember I said some of the dies have more than others in there? That is so true. This entire storyboard was done with just one of the sets in here. Just one. Let's see if I can find it. No, not that way. Let's try this side. Oh, there we go. This set right here. Cut everything you see. Everything you see was cut with this one set. And then Yvette put together just a very simple, lovely little card. Happy anniversary. Part of the $29.99 bundle. Then we have four sets here. We have the one that says wedding. So you can cut the background, you can cut the main die, or you can cut into a larger piece of paper to give you a larger border. We have the lattice, all done with one die. We have the cute banners, all done with one die. And then we have the, the flourish motif. So four different dies right here. And what I wanna show you is the banner. So the banner is right here. It's also right on our card right here. And then we have, they have uh, darling little candles right there. I could have put a third die right here. When I told you that they stack, this is a true A2 card and you can take one die two dies or three dies to make an entire card front out of the dies for $29.99. It the, the possibilities are really unlimited and you can you can change up the each die has a different um, the background die each die has a different edge to it and those are all interchangeable. So really if you start doing in your head how many different combinations you can do it's amazing absolutely amazing. So then we have the next set. We have the candles. I just showed you the candles. So all three were done with one set. We have the happy birthday. And then all of this was done out of one set. The little banner, the background, all of it was done out of one set. So we've got three sets that I'm showing you here. And the card I want to show you Look at how cute is this happy birthday. And again, we just stacked two. We could have stacked three. We could have had one at the bottom, one middle, and one at the top. This was done so cute. Last, we have the rose that I was playing with today to do the foiling. We have a little floral pattern down here. We have another motif here and we have some stripes. Now I will tell you, a few of the girls looked at these stripes and said, oh, I don't know what we would ever do with those. But wait until you see what Yvette did with these stripes and the motif. Do you see how the motif matches the stripes? Let me show you the card. We took the motif, the stripes, and we cut it twice into our, back, into our paper, and then we took the top and we made a beautiful, it is a solid background out of three dies that all interchange. You have options. Yvette did a beautiful job. That came out of the green and the blue. The blue is at the very top, and then the two of the greens cut, we cut the green twice. 
to give the height so that it took up the entire card front of an A2 card, which is the most common size card here in the United States. Doesn't cost any extra to ship, and my goodness gracious, you could be card making and decorating, but how beautiful would this be on your layout? And then put an image, your picture right in the center. It's so easy to do. So that is the Tonic Door Buster deal for $29.99. Now I wanna show you some of the samples using the foil. And I started here. There you have the best wishes. And it is, it's simply lovely. And that best wishes is a, is a foil stamp. So we have best wishes. Then we have a dual stamp. So we did the background. Yes, this is a, a, a foil stamp. We did that in gold first, and then the thanks went on top of it in a different colored foil. So you've got two foils, one on top of the other, and yes, it works perfectly. Then I have a super cute happy birthday. Super cute happy birthday. Great for Guy. If you don't want it such a flourish on the back, change your background dye and Easy, really great for a guy. That's a great font. We have, we're just scribbled, literally scribbled behind and then took vellum and foiled you are, uh, or you're amazing on the vellum and put the vellum over the scribbles and it softened everything. It softened everything. Then we have an invitation because there is a hot foil stamp that says, a foil stamp that says um, invitation. So if you are doing homemade wedding cards or if you're doing a bridal shower or a baby shower, there you go. Almost done for you. Then we have a resist. So remember how I did this? That's how this was done. The foil was put down first and then it was inked. And anywhere the ink hit the foil, it resisted and it didn't stay to the foil. So that card was done as a resist. The foil was put down on white cardstock first and then all the ink was added afterwards. Here we have with love. And your with love is foiled. Then we have another with the butterflies, which are an embellishment on top of your foiled image. You can see just how they add so much. Here's a great guy, happy birthday. Again, the happy birthday is foiled. And because you're using your big shot machine or your die cutting machine, you, you, you're adding another tool to your arsenal. You're not having to go outside your comfort zone and you can make it so much more by using them as stamps or letterpress. This is also a resist. That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> so the foil was put down first and then a whole bunch of uh, brushos were put on top of it. Totally resisted. Oh my goodness. Here's Sweetheart. That's one of the the foil stamp dies that you're gonna get with your bundle from us. Here we have World's Coolest Dad. Again, done in foil. We have another Best Wishes. I really do have lots of cards. <laughs> we have Best Wishes. I have with love. I have a fun mercy. Done in foil. We have a celebrate on your birthday. Done with a letter press in the back and a foil on top.
I have got a finished card where all we did was stamp. That's all we did. We did the same technique that I did here. That's all this was. No foil at all. Just stamped. Even the sentiment is stamped and that's using one of the foil stamp dies. Here we have a beautiful how gorgeous is that? So you've got foiling here, you've got foiling there. How magnificent is that? We've got heartfelt sympathy. Again, what a lovely card. And with that foiling, it looks like you, I mean, it looks like you spent a fortune on it. We have a congrats. Oh, and that's done with paste. But the frame is all foiled. That's one of the uh, the die or the, the foil stamps and the congrats. Let's see what else do I have? I have just one of the simple roses. So the rose stamped, the rose foiled. The rose stamped and the rose foiled. I've got you are engaged. I've got get well. And I've got thanks. And I have thanks on vellum. I also want to show you quickly that you can foil right onto ribbon. You can foil onto canvas. You can foil onto fabric. And you can foil onto your envelope. <laughs> okay, so we've got we've got amazing, amazing hot foil stamps. We have got amazing hot foil, the foils to go with it. We've got the go press and foil machine. We've got a bundle for you that is going to rival what you saw at HSN. I think it's a little bit better, frankly, but that's me. <laughs> we have got the tonic door buster deal that all of this is going to be available all throughout the entire YouTube yummy sale. So until we do YouTube number 202, all of this is available for you. If you're anywhere in sunny California, come and visit us. <laughs> if you want to shop online, you're going to find, woo, you're going to find this product. Let's go back just a wee bit. Oh, <laughs> maybe a wee bit more. <laughs> you're going to find all of this product, not only in the doorbuster deal section right now because May 6th, May 7th, it's on sale on our doorbuster deals, but you're going to find them in the YouTube yummy category if you order after May 6th or May 7th. Now, I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you took notes. I hope you understand why I kept saying, I'm glad I waited because I am. I'm able to show you so much more to do with one tool than perhaps a laminator could do for you because I, I just don't see how you could use all the dies you already have and the die cutting machine you already own and be able to do all of this with a laminator if you added that to your stash. So it is a hundred and, let's see, here's the bundle. It's a hundred and twenty-four ninety-nine. Regular price is one forty-seven seventy-two. 
it does not ship for free. So during National Scrapbooking Day, our shipping is $7.95, regardless if you're over $50 or not. And then once this National Scrapbooking Day is over, this will also be $7.95 to ship. It can't ship for free. So um, it's just too bulky and it's not drop ship. We handle it ourselves. So, uh, and then uh, shipping it to some places is as much as $17, but we think $7.95 is fair to ship this and get this to you, especially since you've got the added bonus of the, the plates to go with it. So scrapbookingmadesimple.com, that's where you're gonna find all of this or come visit us in our retail store. It's me, Stacy. I hope you had a great time. Happy National Scrapbooking Day 2017. And for all of our winner, winner chicken dinners, I'm, for all of our winner, winner chicken dinners and our little oopsies, oh well, <laughs> the more the merrier, right? Okay, you guys, I'll see you next week. Bye.